<sighs> I already started reacting to the video, y'all, so you're going to get what you're going to get. Um, Complaint petition PPF AMLINE. Oh, I guess Second Avenue LLC versus Corey Pritchett. Um, oh, they suing him. Oh, God. Child, first of all, I got served some um, court papers, too. <laughs> yeah, when I first got to Atlanta, I got some jewelry. And not like, not like I paid for this, but not like some crazy shit. Just some jewelry, girls. A little, 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 little something. Do you know, like, the first month it broke on me? So I didn't take it back. I didn't do nothing. I just didn't pay him. <laughs> I just didn't pay him. We do some stupid shit. But I just did not pay him. Girl, they served me too. Corey, I, you ain't by yourself. You ain't alone. I ain't, uh, not no apartment. But the jewelry. Man, if y'all don't get the fuck. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> I'm just letting him know he ain't alone. <laughs> Oh, my God. Um, this is terrible. Okay. In Miami, as you can see here, on February 15th of 2024, there was a petition filed by a Midtown Miami Apartments, and Corey is listed here for evictions. And as many of you guys know, Carmen recently came out and did this video where she exposed everything that Corey has put her through. Now, she mentioned that Corey has gave her black eyes in the past. Corey's former cameraman already tried to expose this about a year ago. He's- Hold on. Somebody wants some attention. It said it was a, it said it was a dispute. You just read the paperwork and it's so funny that you were still using the Tea Rooms platform when it clearly says, uh, when it clearly stays to her. Talk right if you gonna come for me, little girl stays to her watermark for the tea rooms youtube platform only well let me bust your bubble little baby <laughs> then you said copyright infringement yeah <laughs> oh yeah that's cute <sighs> well the funny part about it is me and tea room have been doing this for years now <laughs> years now let me um uh, let me go to a quick little dm let me let me type her name in. What's that? The tea room? Why can't I type it? Come on. Let me bust their bubble. Please. The? Come on. Come on. Tea room. Thanks. Oh, yeah. I love busting bubbles. Now, somebody else said that the other day, and I don't know if it was you, but I had to ask tea room, like, hey, tea room, we good, because some of your fans feel some type of way that I'm reacting to your videos and stuff. So I was just wondering, uh, is it a pro are we good? Hey, T Room, you cool with me reacting to your vids? Just asking, because <clears throat> one of your fans is mad at me, but I'm just making sure I know we've been doing this for years. LOL, but it's okay for reassurance. She said, Oh, my God, girl, yes, please do. I don't mind at all. Shut up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, if this not what you do, shut up. You get what I'm saying? Watch and get the fuck. You get what I'm saying? People pull up, hop out, watch, get a little popcorn, get a little uh, little Ron or something, talk a little shit, and leave. You get what I'm saying? You be trying to pull up, investigate, be the FBI. Wrong job. Wrong job for you. This ain't for you. <laughs> this ain't for you, baby. When T Room has this up here on her um on her head platform, it says for T Room. For the tea room, YouTube only, not other platforms. Aren't we still on YouTube? You fucking piece of work, <laughs> aren't we? All right, which means I can still react to that video. She's saying don't take my work and put it on TikTok. 
Snapchat, Facebook, you know, shit like that. Do me a favor. I got to tell you, the door, it's right here. You open it, turn left, close my shit when you go out. Turn left, go down the stairs, turn right, open that front door and get the fuck. Go. Fall here there. That was so, uh, God, I, that felt good. Girl, I'm a Leo. You just made my day. <laughs> anyway, let's keep going. Stated he witnessed Corey knock the F out of Carmen. So Carmen just confirmed pretty much everything that he tried to warn us of about Corey is actually true. Nice. Now, Corey was on TikTok Live and he didn't deny actually putting hands on Carmen, but he tried to make it seem like she put hands on him first. She don't have papers and all of that. Right. The real problem is that she is not trying to detach from me because I was her, her way out. She can say whatever she wants to say to y'all. I like, don't nobody know the real truth. Cap. Of course, she just don't want to go to jail. She is absolutely not taking this divorce situation because she don't want to go to jail. <laughs> Or, or get uh, deported. Yeah, she don't, don't know who feel like doing that. I will hold you hostage too with this divorce shit. Don't care. You know what I'm saying? I done moved on. I done left her alone now. Like, you know where I'm done with everything. Now you trying to come out and destroy me. I could speak on something that happened to me and I went and got some help and what was told to me. And they wasn't lying because she's literally doing exactly what they said she would do. It's so crazy to me. But listen to this though. I got all the proof of her admitting all of this, right? Like, <laughs> hold up. Realistically. Yeah, and um, hold up. This is the exact one that and I. And on top of that, the, the, the end something, I tried to get a divorce with this girl multiple times. I even filed my divorce already, y'all. She would not comply with it. I'm so, like, like if, if this all true, let's just say if. Yeah, he, he did everything that she said, right? All this stuff. Because you did. <laughs> you know anybody that'll say that. Let's say I did do it. You might have did that shit. Not in all cases, but you might have did that shit. <laughs> Why haven't you divorced me and I've been trying to get a divorce the whole time? I've been. Are my dreads real? Hell no, this weave. This weave. You ain't know? Yeah, 11 years of weave. 20, maybe 12 years of weave. Absolutely. They ain't real, Jeff. Trying to leave you so I can go home. Who would stay with somebody? Who would still be? And I'm just going to show y'all the proof. Like, I want to show it to y'all here because I don't want them tits. I'll take my stuff down. But, bro, when I show y'all everything, and when y'all see all of this, y'all going to be mind blown. Y'all going to be like, what the flying if? Like, I promise on everything I love. And I ain't even here, bro. What kind of hair is it? Honey, so you tell me, what kind of hair is this? You know I don't know them hairs. Bagolian. Bagolian. <laughs> That's the beef I like. <laughs> it's synthetic. That it's synthetic. Yeah. Try to play a victim. Like I never saw I was perfect. Like okay, Corey Me. cheating and all of this. Like bro, <laughs> come on. Like, all right, yeah, bro. I done grew up from that, and you know that. She know that. Like you know, we was married, bro. We got married because I'm trying to help her get papers. I didn't know nothing about no marriage. I literally just found more out about marriage last year as I started getting deep into the Bible more, right? And then when I realized, like, holy shit, like, bro, like. Yeah, like, that's when I went to repent, you know what I'm saying? Asking God for beginning and changing my life around, moving different, you feel me? So, when it comes to everything that we was doing, like, yeah, we both was in the wrong. And she wanted to do all of that just, like, bro, she admitted right here on this thing, <laughs> on Tasha K interview, where she said, they, she said to her, uh, do you like to do three? She said, well, I like girls and all that. She admits it. So you got to go back and just pick up all the lies and pick up this thing that she said, which I'm going to show all. That's not a lie if she like threesomes. That, Corey, you like to put your beef in somebody else's taco. She like threesomes. You like putting your beef somewhere else. That's why you agreed to it. If that's the case, because you know you wanted to put that thing somewhere else. And that's okay. Uh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Somebody, please. He quiet right now. I ain't going to lie. I'm happy. I don't want him to say shit. I don't want to do. I don't want to do. Because it's going to be so bad. I don't want him to. <laughs> Y'all going to pick him apart. Okay. It's best if he just 
take what happened like a man. Handle that bender. Oh, y'all this shit. Like, dead ass. Like, cause, like I ain't got no choice but to do this now. You play with me, so like now I got to really just go and show them but the real proof. Then she said I black her eye and all that. Yeah, when we got into a fight and you, because you put your hands on me and we got into a fight, yeah, and I didn't, and I'm gonna be under with y'all. Let me be 1,000% under with y'all. So y'all don't think he not, so y'all still think he gonna come out and say something? If you think he gonna come out and say something, put a one in the chat. If you think he about to stay quiet for a little while, put a two in the chat, please. I wanna know. Tell me. Ah, uh, y'all got mixed feelings. It's mixed feelings up in here. Okay, okay. One, 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 two, two, two in the chat. It's mixed feelings in here. Okay, well, we gonna see. It would really blow me with this, right? We gonna find out. I don't put my hand on it. Cap. But if you harm me, you know what I'm saying? Well, I have to protect myself, I'm gonna protect myself. It's with anybody. I know for, I don't care what none of y'all say. Nobody can sit in here and let somebody throw something at them, hit me across the head, punch them, beat on them, and not, they're not gonna do nothing back Hell to them. Hell no. So when you try to say that I gave you a black eye, a black eye and all this, don't like why are you on the internet making it seem like I'm just an abusive guy? Like I just be putting my hands on you. Like what? What you fail to realize is like these are all my people, and even our friends. Like they, they are your friend, but they are all my people. They're not gonna just let you go out here and just lie like this. You know what I'm saying? And think that you're gonna just go over there with that, them two people and it go have them come up or something. Like it don't. No, we're going to show the real true color because I was really, like, trying to leave it alone. I really moved on. I got a girlfriend. You feel me? Like, I really accepted it for what it is. Like, you know what? Like, we, I haven't talked to that girl since I left Houston. When I dropped her off, when she was in Alabama the whole time. And she got on there and lied to y'all about this whole situation with Precious. Let's address that real quick. Like, you, you, like, you do know that Precious can get on the platform and Precious can speak and tell everything the truth. Like, for real, like... I don't think Precious talking to you. And I know damn well Precious ain't gonna come out and say nothing. Soon as Precious got into some shit, she was crying. She ain't wanna say nothing. We got to Houston. She said that Precious slept in her bed. Precious didn't sleep in your bed. Precious came the next day and Precious slept on the couch while me and you was in your bed. And when we went to a restaurant... Well, Corey, that's simply not true either because you, you had put the kids' stuff out. See, that's that's... Corey, I ain't gonna lie, she is ethering this nigga, bro. She's so ahead of him. <laughs> She's so ahead of this nigga, bro. <laughs> She's so ahead of him, y'all. Oh my God. She was in the restaurant holding Precious' hands, crying to Precious, telling Precious, thank you for me oh, her being in my life because Precious helped me become a better man. Like, like, you feel me? And then somebody took a picture of us and sent it to Ebony them, and she lied, was trying to lie and say that she wasn't with me or whatever. Woo -woo. But some, somebody took a picture of her at the restaurant. It's, it's too much stuff that's not on the internet. And then another thing, the whole me put a gun in her mouth. Like, really? Like, you really go and you go and you, you make up something you use that they try to like use against me? I put a gun in your mouth. If you guys go on YouTube, it's a video on YouTube where I even explain the situation behind where I even had ever had a gun to car. Do y'all know what that video is? <clears throat> we about to react to that video. We are about to react to that video. Yes, we are. Can somebody please send me that video? And it's the thing that she don't admit would be blowing me. It's like, yo, why you never telling none of the stuff that you really doing out here? You know, it's like, why are you really, why are you really not speaking on like everything that you're causing and who you really are. You just making it seem like I'm just this, this guy that is weird. But I'm gonna break this down to y'all. I'm gonna break it down from step one to step two. Let me tell the real core problem. The real core problem is this, that yes, I've been used. I've been married since 18 years old. It, I got married because uh, I, I, I was in love and I wanted to help this girl when, I, when they lied to me and told me that she was an immigrant and um, she she ain't had no papers and all of that, right? Yeah. 
That nigga said he was in love with her as if she wasn't in love with him. Y'all was in love with each other, Corey. <laughs> Y'all, please tell him. Please don't don't make a video, Corey. Please. This 18 years old. Like if, if I can break like since they want to do a, a music video. Since they want to do a music video, I would love to do a video showing y'all exactly how it happened, like how it found, like how how they how they heard her mom, her her mom played me into believing th this story that her mom, her real mom died, her mom, her auntie, and she came here as a kid. She don't have papers and all of that. Rule. Okay, guys, so I'm a little bit. Oh, that happened fast. Um. Can't raise a man. Okay. Um, y'all, okay. It's a lot of people that's uh commenting under my video that's saying basically Corey already admitted to the gun thing. He didn't admit to putting it in our mouth. Okay. He admitted to cocking it. So recently I spoke. Hold on. He admitted to cocking it and acting as if he was gonna pull it or whatever but he didn't have no bullets in it something like that but uh let's i think i reacted to this weekend on carmen yeah. finally admitting that yes she did go back to Corey. now the shade room teens did post this onto instagram and this ish will drive someone crazy man now i also spoke on previously how carmen stated on twitter that she was in fear and that's why she went back to Corey. will Corey let everyone know exactly why carmen was stating that she was in fear but it was, so I'm gonna speak on it first. It's one incident that we had, right? That she tried to use because I, I learned about women and I, I said, damn, this shit real. So that's why I, you gotta be, you, us men gotta be careful, right? <laughs> so we got into this bad fight one day, right? It was an argument fight. I don't know if I had. Thank you, uh, Desire, Desiree. Thank you, Frank. I, I don't even remember what the fuck it was about. But we, like, I know how we would get into arguments, right? And Carmen would not stop. She will continue and continue and continue. It's like, yo, chill. Like, you try to walk away, all that. She would not let you walk away. I'm telling you, she the type would just sit there and just gig it on and get bad and bad, right? I'm the type, I always try to walk a fucking way. I don't like to argue. I'm not going to sit here and like, raise my voice at you. You don't even want to hear me out. You don't want to talk properly. You don't want to comprehend. You want to just argue. And just, I'm going to walk out. She never let you leave. Boy Drea or oh Boy Dre, you got to send it to me. So it was already one night, right? Man, it was a while ago. So this shit ain't even reduced. This shit was a while ago. But I just, I, 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 I got my finger on her. And I've been paying attention to the shit that she been saying and the shit she been doing. So as we argue, we argue, we argue, we find you fussing, we fussing. She good at putting hands on me now. Now you put your hand on me, I'm going to hit your ass back. Simple. Don't put your fucking hand on me. Like, and, I, it, and I'm not even going to hit you back right then and there. I'll let you, but it's like, bro, don't put your fucking hand on Keep hitting me and you spend on mine and hit you back. So we... I'm sorry. I agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. Stop putting y'all hands on these men. I agree again, and I agree again and again and again. Okay. All right. Are we? Are we supposed to fight? She throwing shit. She hit me with. She she's in my room. She throwing shit at me. Woo -woo. So I'm trying my best to stay sane. Like, bro, leave me the fuck alone. Woo -woo. So boom, my gun sit on my counter, right? And I'm and I'm bullets. Like, I don't keep no bullets in my gun in the house. Where I got my kids in there. So my gun sit on the counter, right? I got so angry, I'm mad. I got my gun. I got my gun. I said, bitch, you better get the fuck back. Leave it the fuck alone now. You know what I'm saying? Like, so in my heart, I know for a fact. Like, I know for a fun fact. It ain't no if, ands, but. Like, first of all, I ain't no good like that. Second of all, a nigga ain't like, gonna shoot you. Third of all, like, a nigga ain't even gonna like, try to hold Oh, yeah, this one, he was Mr. Roll his neck. So I don't even try to do that. But I did it because you won't leave me the fuck alone. And you keep got them, like, throwing shit at me. You keep trying to hit me. So boom, we got into a little argument right there one time. It's like, so boom, I remember everything was good after me. You feel what I'm saying? It was like, bro, we always get into argument. But I remember she brought that situation up, right? And she tried to use it. She flipped the switch and she made it sound so bad. And I mean, I called it one day. And I was like, hold up. I ain't saying that to her, but I said something. And I, 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 I'm a, you got to be a man. You got to have common sense. I said to myself, I said, hold up. It sounds like you're trying to... Trying to, trying to you, Use this and make it seem like a nigga. It, 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 was, it was something that it wasn't. Corey, you can't just be cocking guns, pointing it at people, whether it's a bullet in there or not. Now, you got to know that that's not a good thing to do. 
You you get what I'm saying? Whether that was a woman, man, you got to know you would have went to jail. Like you got to know if the police was right there, you would have known you would have went to jail. You got to know that that's kind of Ill- illegal. Uh, you you got to know that may fall under the lines of premeditated acts or some shit like that. You got to know that that's a real thing. Like you can't just be out here just cocking guns and putting it in people's face. You just can't do stuff like that. But not only that, you do it and then you just act like that shit ain't nothing. Ain't shit went nothing, man. Like you trying to act like that was a lot. Like, bitch, I could have just killed you. Like, well, I'm glad you didn't, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But it's, it's, Corey, that's a bad thing, you know? Oh, my God. After that day, I would have had to get a gun to, A, protect myself from you, B, or I would have used one of yours because apparently he was, you know, he had guns galore in the house. Like you say, for instance, right, he would have did that to a woman that don't play that shit. And she would have killed him. Because she would have thought he was trying to kill her. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's so real, you know? That ain't nothing to play with. My daddy always told me, you pull that bitch out, you got to use it. You got to use it at that point. You got to. <sighs> oh, no, no, no. No, he just said how it is. So I ain't say that. <clears throat> Literally. I ain't say shit. I'm just listening to you. And so then, boom, days were months go by and she brought it up again so i said to myself i, I see what type of woman i'm dealing with i'm dealing with a woman you know what i'm saying that if she can't get her way she'll try to find with any person bro. if you can prove that my person then i i own her i just put my gun out i put it in the house and get the fuck back literally i don't gotta hide it i did because i'm telling you even when, even when it happened i told my mom like man motherfuckers be trying to use shit and make shit seem way worse than what the fuck it is and like you know damn well they like that because you know what people when you tell somebody else the, when a person hears something the only thing you can think of the worst right Simple. you told your mama and your mama didn't tell you shit like that could get you killed? What? I would have told my son, don't you ever do no shit like that ever again. That's what my daddy would have told me. Man, if you do, boy, you would have been up out of here. <laughs> like, for real. She, yo, that mom is enabling. That's so bad. I hate that because she not keeping it a hundred with him at all. And that's dangerous. It's like, I don't know why she's doing that, but mama, come on. Eh? You got to tell him the truth. <laughs> so he won't be in a, in a crazy situation, man. Come on, man. That's the only thing you can think of the worst. So everybody don't think the worst when you say something. Like, oh, you know, you, when, you, when you become a tree, you deal with so many people on the internet, bro, you don't understand that. So like, when you come what? Simple. That's the only thing you can think of the worst. So everybody don't think the worst when you say something. So like, well, I don't, you know, you, when, you, when you become a tree, you deal with so many people on the internet, bro, you don't understand that. So like, when you become mature. Internet, it like, I don't pay attention to it. But I just be real, though. And it's like, bro, if I'm such this bad person, bro, Honestly, all I'm asking is just show it. Just show it, bro. Approve it. Oh, he asked for it, didn't he? She ain't even showed up proof yet, for real. <laughs> he asked for it, didn't he? Just show it. She said, he, if he asked about he about to shoot me, I'm done. Yeah. How can somebody tell him to shoot you if they, don't even, if they don't got a bullet in their gun, if they don't even put the aggression to act they finna shoot you? I was walking out and I grabbed my... That's a whole lie. You just said... You better, what the fuck he just say? You better move now for whatever he said. Well, I, I probably wouldn't even took serious. You better move now. <laughs> like, you better move now. For, <laughs> he just had aggression with it a couple seconds ago. <laughs> you better move now. For, whatever country ass shit he just said. <laughs> My gun as I'm walking out. And as I was walking out, she said, I turned up around and said, you better get the fuck back. That. You didn't say that with them teeth out like that, with a smile on your face. How is that act like he about to shoot you? You see what I'm saying? You see how women can take something, I swear to God, bro, 
and y'all can take it and make it seem like it's the worst shit ever. But y'all have never explained exactly how it really happened. Straight up. Yeah. <laughs> This never do that. Yeah, only stick to the part where it sounds so bad, bro. Like, come on, bro. Like, hear me out. You pick up upstairs enough. I picked my gun because I was gonna walk out, make it make sense. I can't I can't get my gun on my counter and I'm gonna walk out the house because I'm gonna go. Cause I'm gonna leave. I got my keys in my hand. I'm gonna leave because you argue, you wanna force and fight, you wanna you wanna throw shit, do the fucking absolutely most that a nigga not gonna do. So I'm gonna get my shit and leave. I, well, I can't deal with her such females, bro. I'm telling y'all, females really a problem. Y'all motherfuckers are dangerous as shit, boy. Y'all show, y'all show how dangerous y'all are. I don't give a fuck. y'all see that the manipulation shit. Y'all show how manipulative. Now then, Corey went on to. You know what's crazy? Women are manipulative. Women have their manipulative ways. But men are gaslighting. Mfs. Okay. When you got a woman, and granted, Carmen don't seem like a calm woman, so don't get me wrong. She don't seem like she was calm or anything. No, I don't. I don't get that from Carmen. I wouldn't have been able to deal with her neither. Um, any woman that do a lot of this and, and be wanting to fight and all that, no, ma'am, it'll get dangerous. I'm gonna let you go ahead and go about your business. Okay. Um, I need a calm woman. I have a calm woman, but what I'm saying is. When certain people are thrown off, like myself, you need someone that is a calm to your storm, is what I'm trying to say. Carmen just simply wasn't a calm, a calm to his storm. But he can't sit here and act like pointing a gun at you ain't crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, all right. Is that it on that? To speak on this whole situation with him allegedly sleeping with full truth. Video, like the video of me and person meeting each other is literally on YouTube. So she went with me to go get my car because nobody in the house wouldn't fucking go with me. I met this girl that way, right? That's how I met her. So now I met her because of your ass, to be honest, the whole situation. Oh. Let's, get it, let's not get it twisted. That's how I met this girl. Now, when I met Precious, you know what I'm saying? Me and Precious, just genuine. You know, we just come stay. It's all cool. You feel me? Like, just nothing. It's just cool. And then we had a bit of friendship. Like, it was cool. And so when um, me and Carmen broke up, I'm cool with Precious because she understand me what's going on because she been here the whole, she was here from the beginning. Precious know everything from day one from when that shit happened because of how we all met. So she know the real. See, that's why she ain't want to talk because like, but she know all the bullshit that Carmen put on right now. I swear to God, she can really like her, my mom, everybody. So boom, now me and Precious, Actually, start working together when me and you bro <sighs> Precious is his uh or was his assistant. She has disappeared. I don't know where Shawty at. Uh, he keeps saying he wish she come out and say something. He might wish she don't. <laughs> he need to stop wishing on certain things because some people just don't need to speak. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> some people just kind of need to stay in the cut. Okay. Ain't no telling what's gonna come out of her mouth. <laughs> I don't know if she feeling some type of way about new shawty or what is going on right here, but <laughs> okay. <laughs> Broke up. Oh, wait, wait. if y'all go back and look at their first prank video on their YouTube, Carmen was so sweet and pure. Mind you, you was already still doing your own thing. You was still already doing your own thing. I didn't know. I didn't know you was doing your own thing. You out here doing your own thing, whatever. I don't know this. So, boom, when I, went, when I, when I kicked out, I said, I broke up with her. It's over with. I called Precious, like, hey, can you come down to Houston and you can be my assistant? Because I know I'm going to need help with shit because I just broke up with this girl and I'm going to do my music. Fuck all that. I just know for a fact I'm going to need somebody to come and assist me. Like, cook, clean, all that other shit. And she was like, okay, fine. She dropped everything she had and she came down. Literally. And when she came down. And guess what Precious is now? We don't know. That's why Precious don't need to come out and speak. Precious don't need to come out and speak. Corey, stop begging for things that you know you don't need, gang. Precious don't need to come out and say shit. <laughs>
Precious, please don't say nothing. <laughs> oh, my God. An assistant to cook and clean. Yes. I need you to cook and clean for me. Oh, you want a girlfriend? Got it. Huh? <laughs> Wait a minute. That's not what assistant is supposed to be doing. But I mean, if that's, if that's his thing, cool. You know, I can't tell him what his assistant will be, but I'm just saying. <sighs> y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Girl, I am done with this. I am done with this. Um, I don't know much about Riss and Quan, y'all, uh, but they both posted on their Instagram today that they are broken up. So it's not clickbait or nothing. That's what they posted on their Instagram. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey, 